Dang, it's windy. Not good. Wind makes it hard. There's fish. Got him. Having a tough time controlling the boat in the in the wind, but that's the great thing about blade baits. They are super forgiving. And I think they're really the best technique for somebody just getting started in walleye fishing. Uh, just because they are so forgiving. Probably one of the easiest lures to fish. I see the eater. Yep, got him. First walleye in the boat this morning. Go. Last little meal, start the day. So one of the reasons I really favor uh, blade baits, especially for beginners, is just how versatile they are. They can be vertically jigged, they can be fan cast and jigged back towards the boat. That works especially well in lakes when you're not drifting or you don't have much wind to drift with. It can let you cover a lot of the, the bottom and they're very simple to fish in the technique and it's a lot harder to miss the bite because basically you're going to get bit on the fall and as you go to make your next jig you'll feel the weight of the fish and because they have generally two treble hooks there's pretty good odds that you're going to stick one in the mouth as you lift upward and because your cadence your jigging cadence is fairly aggressive you're pretty much setting the hook or at least have the potential to set the hook with each vertical lift of the rod and of course for me one of the other benefits is that i know my lure is fishing because they vibrate as you lift them up and so you know you're not all tangled up on yourself or you'll know if you have weeds on it because you'll detect the lack of vibration in the rod and so you know whether or not you're fishing correctly or not so basically i'm just letting that fall all the way to the bottom looking for that line to stop when it makes contact and then i'm going to make sharp vertical jigging motions i mean i'm going to go up you know a couple feet with each cadence and then i'm going to let it drop slowly back down and 99% of the time, they're going to hit on the f fall. I just had a bite there when I lift up. I didn't get them, though. And you will be just basically setting the hook as you're fishing it. You're basically always setting the hook. So there's no, so there's less opportunity here for uh, you to screw up and miss the bite. Because you're basically setting the hook over and over again as you drift downstream or work across the structure that you're fishing and a lot of times you just won't feel the bite you'll just lift up and all of a sudden there'll just be a weight there and you're already driven the hooks home hopefully in a solid manner it's forever to find it. There's fish. A little head shaky. Switched up to a perch pattern and that uh, seemed to make the difference. I went through a couple drifts with the chartreuse and silver. Couldn't make it happen. Once you get them on, just slow and steady pressure up. Right in the face. Perfect. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. The wind has picked up. It's made the drift really hard to do. There you go. On that perch pattern. Or saw a blade bait there. Like a fire tiger pattern. Awesome. Fishing today would be about a million times easier if the wind would just 
way down, but it's spring, and that is just what happens in the spring is it gets windy. I had to go back to a heavier blade bait. They come in lots of different sizes. You can get them down to one eighth ounce all the way up to one ounce. I'm doing three quarter ounce now to try and keep a vertical presentation in this wind. It's just really gusty right now. Not fun conditions for walleye fishing. Not ideal. There's one. Got him. Been a while since I got a bite. I finally got one. I changed up to a white blade bait there. Pulled one out of here. Yeah. Nice eater. Got him. Sweet. Yeah, I went to a more natural colored blade bait there, away from the bright metals and stuff, and that seemed to make the difference. Nice little eater. Take that any day. Yeah, so there's that sort of natural colored Norsada there. It's kind of a ivory white belly and then a blue green back. Gone to a slightly less aggressive jigging cadence just because I did drop a plastic down there and get a bite. And that's a little bit slower presentation. I'm thinking maybe they want something a little more, uh, a little tighter to the bottom, less aggressive. Normally I would do like two to four foot jigging cadence with a blade bait, but I've gone to a little bit shorter, tighter cadence. Lots of smaller, like one, one and a half foot hops. Just enough to get the thing rattling and uh, see if that makes a difference. go now for a blade baiting rod I recommend a seven foot to seven and a half foot medium power rod graphite and I like something with an exposed part of the blank where my thumb rests so I can feel the, the vibrations from the blade bait itself it really makes it uh, confident you, that you know you're fishing correctly down there Slow and steady retrieve here. Bring this guy up from the depths. They moved out a little bit deeper. Now that the current's kind of backed off. If just get the wind to back off, it'd be in really good shape. There we go. Nice fella. Perfect. Now as far as line goes, I will definitely always use braid. Not only does it transmit that vibration well when you're jigging these blade baits, but also helps drive that hook home um, when you're doing your jigging motions. Just like that. Because that fish was at 113 feet, so pulling them up from those depths and getting a good hook set would be really challenging with monofilament. But pretty easy with braid. Barely got him. Got him. There we go. Nice. There's another walleye on a blade bait. I'm going to make that one my last fish of the day. Got a nice limit of tasty walleye. I'll put links to all of the lures and rod and reel recommendations in the description below. And I'll see you next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.